welcome back to game four of the final season of Wheel of Mutt. We got off to an incredibly hot start with two wins, but sadly, last game, my hot streak of winning close games came to an end. That's fucking, oh my God. I literally said, let's make a very smart decision. That is such horse shit. Lost by three points. I didn't play my best game, but my opponent played a really solid one too, so I can't be that upset about it. Now, looking on the bright side, we still have an awesome team to work with. We did lose some players from last episode, but they weren't crazy good anyway. So right now, my corners aren't great. Sauce Gardner is obviously amazing, but Lattimore and Legeria Sneed definitely need upgrades. Starno Docket is amazing, but Anya Mata, JPP, and Dominic Robinson obviously could use upgrades too. Linebackers are looking a lot better, but Bruce Irvin is kind of scary, and Clay Matthews, our power player Clay Matthews, going into game four, does not have a single upgrade. It's actually so sad. Even if we got him one upgrade, he's an 85. We gotta get him all the way to this 93 and then get one more upgrade, which will take him to his 98 overall ultimate legend. We're a ways away from that, so I need Clay Matthews to have like one sack and a pick six, and we can just take him all the way to 90, just like that. Offensively, half of my offensive line is awesome. The other half is trash. My halfback is okay. Quarterback is amazing. Fullback's amazing. Wide receivers are looking really good, and Hawkinson, I hate to say it, is outdated at this point. There are so many good tight ends. Hawkinson is technically a 95. Dude, there's way too many good tight ends in the game. I do think I need to get another tight end. Also, my buddy has continued to grind the field pass for Megatron. He's at a 95 right now. We're always entitled to the best version, but there's only so much we can do. Hopefully, by next episode, we'll have a 97 overall, though. That'd be awesome. Also, since last episode, this absurd Ring of Honor promo got dropped. There's a gold 99 Randy Moss. There's a gold 99 Barry Sanders, who I would love on the team. There's Lawrence Taylor, Primetime, Tony Gonzalez, and tons of amazing 98 overall players. I don't know if this was a solo drop or if they plan on updating this. I hope they plan on updating this with more players, but we'll see. Either way, fingers crossed we could get a Ring of Honor player on our squad, but that's up to the wheel, not me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first wheel spin of today's episode. We've got to redeem ourselves after a tough loss last time. So let's hope this is good. Series Redux jackpot is awesome. I think Redux goes all the way up to a 96 now. We're not going to get a 98 overall, but yes, Series Redux does go up to 96. This is a jackpot. I can take whoever I want. Ah, <sighs> what do we need the most? I think defense. I think we need defense. Dude, we need a left end so bad. Right now, my left end is Dominique Robinson. That's just not going to cut it. For left ends, there is Judevian Clowney, who is a stud. And then there's Chase Young, who we've had previously. Mario Williams, Cam Jordan. What about right ends? I'm not I'm not sold on any of those guys. Right ends, there's... Ooh. There's this Aaron Donald. This Aaron Donald is actually nasty. I had this Aaron Donald on my squad yes, before, sir. actually. I do think I like him better than Clowney, but I don't have to go either of them. Again, this is a jackpot. Linebackers are good. I could technically go kicker. Ooh, what about a tight end, though? What if I'm not going to go Aaron Donald? What if I went with a tight end? What's my best option? Hawkinson himself, Owen Daniels, and Ertz. I think I do have to go with Aaron Donald here. All right, I made my decision. Our Series Redux jackpot is going to be 96 overall Aaron Donald. He gets really good discounted abilities. He's crazy good. I think we even had this Aaron Donald on like one playoff game in a previous season of Wheel of Mutt. And before we go into our next wheel spin, let's take a peek at just how good he is. So I'm going to put him at right end and I'll move JPP to left end. Double or nothing and inside stuff. And then he does get edge threat elite for two AP, which is amazing. I talked about that before. It's edge threat and under pressure baked into one. It's an awesome, awesome ability. So we'll go edge threat elite on Aaron Donald. So to get edge threat elite, I'm going to have to make some adjustments right now. Got one on sauce, one on Micah, three on Eric Berry. But I do love Eric Berry with deep in, deep out, in enforcer and crusher. I'm going to take pick artist off Marshawn Lattimore and I'm going to take one ability off Eric Berry. I think enforcer is the least needed there. All right, that takes us to our second wheel spin. Our first one is a huge D-line upgrade. Very happy to have it. I would love to get a corner with this next one if I get a choice. Ooh, a little MM typo on this. Two times 96 weekly wildcard packs. I have these two packs right here. They're the 96 plus weekly wildcard any week fantasy pack. I know that sounds like a whole lot of jargon, but you're gonna understand when I open this pack. We're gonna have a choice between 96 Quan Alexander. He would be all right. He would actually be a pretty good pickup because my MLB2 needs an upgrade. And our other option is, come on, baby. 
Anthony Walker. Ooh, two monster linebackers. Feel like I'm gonna want Anthony Walker. Let's see what the comparisons show. Anthony Walker is six foot one with 94 speed and 97 acceleration. That is a really good middle linebacker. I think I'd still use Zernichki though. And then Quan is six foot one with very similar speed, a little bit less excel. I've already got Micah. The pick here is it's Anthony Walker. I'm gonna go Anthony Walker Jr. That'll be my MLB too. Happy to have him. And you know what? Now that I look at him, he might have like a nice discounted ability for free. He's got to have something, right? He gets Crusher for one. I don't know if it's worth using that. He does get zero AP Lurker and zero AP Enforcer. I'm going to give him Lurker just in case. It's free and that's awesome. And this is two of these packs, so I get one more right here. Give me a DB. It's a veteran first. It is number hey, yo, one, Josh Johnson. Fuck? I watched you in the playoffs. You're a fraud. Number two, I thought that said CB, so I got super excited. Josh Johnson will not be making this lineup. So whatever player we're getting, it's this one right here it is <laughs> <laughs> shit what am i gonna do with alex heisman alex heisman is kind of nasty 6'3 with 93 speed his block shedding is 96 bro he almost could replace jpp is heismith gonna be better than jpp alex heismith might be my new left end this is interesting for sure but how big is alex heismith that's gonna matter to me a lot here that's a big fucking dude 6'3 242 he's almost jpp size 93 speed 95 excel 90 96 block shed, 96 finesse moves. And you're gonna get a free ability too, aren't you? Yeah, you are gonna replace JPP. Demoralizer for zero. That is almost useless. No outsiders for two and edge threat for one. Unpredictable and edge threat elite. I guess I will run demoralizer on him. I'm not interested in moving stuff around. Although a one AP edge threat is not that bad. I'm just gonna give him demoralizer and I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him just play. Darn it. Well, weekly wild cards definitely has some good DBs. So that would have been nice. We end up with two linebackers. Now, let's see JPP compared to Highsmith. That's gonna matter to me a lot here. So, Highsmith is two inches shorter, a lot faster, more acceleration, less strength. Highsmith is better. I know it says Highsmith is technically a 91, but I don't care, man. He's a stud. I even can put JPP at D-tackle two. This is super, su all of this is super weird for me. I'm not used to making these bizarre inputs here, but hey, we'll get weird. And for this third and final wheel spin, I think I want offense at this point, either offensive line, potentially another Another tight end ring of honor oh 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 okay this is not ring of honor jackpot this is ring of honor random team so i've got a wheel here with every single ring of honor team on it i can take one player but they have to come from this team please be the lions please be the lions please be sit 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 let's go Oh my god, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Saquon, Saquon, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. That's all I have to say to you. I can take any Ring of Honor player on the Lions. I can take like Herman Moore or something, but it's so obvious I'm not gonna do that. <gasps> yes, baby, yes, baby, yes. I'm here for the one and only, the greatest running back of all time, Barry Sanders. Ah! <laughs> Ring of Honor, Barry Sanders. Let's talk about this card. Five foot eight, two oh three. So he's not the biggest running back in the game, and I know that those are kind of the meta running backs. But he's got ninety nine break tackle. He even gets ninety truck, ninety nine change of direction, ninety eight speed, ninety nine acceleration. Just disgustingly good stats. He even has decent impact block. His route running is actually mad good. And most importantly, he gets some insane abilities. Number one, he gets evasive baked in, totally free. He gets tank for a one. He's such a small halfback that it's so important that he has tank. He gets tank for one. He gets backfield master for zero, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to take tank here for one AP and I'll also take backfield master. Backfield master gives you more hot routes, but that's not exactly needed since I already have those thanks to Herbert. But what this does give me is improved catching from the backfield. Tank, evasive, and backfield master for one AP. And of course, I am going to give an ability. I'm going first one free for Barry Sanders. Oh my God, it's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> My hat bag is no longer Saquon Barkley. It's gold, 99. Barry Sanders is literally so much better in almost every stat. We'll also throw Saquon as our backup halfback. Let's activate Barry's ability. That's our first ever gold, 99. We got Barry Sanders and Megatron too. Oh, I'm so happy, man. Let's go. Clay Matthews is still in poverty. The left side of my line sucks ass. Everything else is awesome. We're headed here into our fourth game. And if I lose, not only do I lose and fall to two and two, but I lose Barry Sanders. We cannot let that happen. We have to go win this game. And of course, 
course, we've got the challenge wheel as well. More important than ever, honestly, because just in case I lose this game, I have to be able to salvage Barry. Oh, what better? What better? A challenge. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Hat trick with one player. One player on my team needs three touchdowns. Passing touchdowns with my quarterback does not count. All right, gentlemen, you see it there. Our current record is two and one. Our first game, a narrow victory. Second game, a narrow victory. And the third game, a narrow loss. Let's get into the fourth one, baby. Let's go. Ooh. 099 Mahomes, Odell, and Justin Jefferson. Hey, I got some studs myself. Play. We're going to sack the QB. We're going to get TFLs, man. It's going to be an amazing day for you. Ooh, lots of people come out in this formation. Is he running that thing? Oh, no. He's got a little handoff to Henry, who's going to go for a very mean 10 yards. Damn. Let's see if he does that again. Yup. Clay! Clay just got ran over. Clay, that's a great start, buddy. That really is a great start. Now I think it's a pass. I'm gonna try and get the sack with Clay right now. Yup. Oh. Oh. Palomalu. Every day we stray further from God. Palomalu, what are you doing? Ah, 39. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's gonna throw something short. Oh, shit. He got me. He got me. Nice play. Sauce, big hit. Ah, we'll take it. First and 10. He's gonna throw left side. Complete a fumble! Lattimore! Go! Go! Rush on Lattimore! The 93! And he's gone! No way! No way! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was so dude. What, what am I talking shit about Lattimore for? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a rage quit, which means we do get a Clay Matthews upgrade. All right, Clay Matthews is now an 85 with 83 speed. Yeah, we're slow but steady. <laughs> so steady wins the race here with Clay Matthews, man. Now, this has not happened in a long time where we got an instant rage quit. So let me remind you the rules. I'm not going to end the video, but I'm also not going to take three more wheel spins. This is to prevent the team from getting too good too fast. So number one, I do get a spin on the rage quit wheel. So let's take that first and foremost. I don't, I don't know if I really earned that rage quit, but hey, force fumble, touchdown. And he quit. It's two of any pack. Any is emphasized here because I could open a training pack or a coin pack. So two of any pack in the entire game. I'm going to go with a ring of honor pack, which is 291 plus ring of honor players and 182 plus elite. So it's kind of just a Hail Mary. Really looking for, you know who would be really good here? Actually, that has ring of honor. So Munoz doesn't help, but there's a kicker. There's Gary Anderson, a 91 overall kicker. I could get him right now. You cannot pull the gold 99s, by the way. So I'm not even looking for those. Oh my God. Yes, yes! Stay, yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, I'm I'm him, bro. Let's go. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, so Gary Anderson, huge. And Larry Tharp might be a good left tackle. And then a game changer pack. I'm doing a game changer pack because I've had really good luck with these. Our first game changer is 90. Ken Pierre Lewis will not make the squad. Mike Gasicki will not make the squad. And our third game changer. Holy shit. Hey, I'll take overkill on kickers, man. I've needed, I have needed kickers. So we'll go over to special teams here. Let's compare these two. Gary Anderson has 95 power, 85 accuracy. Bass has 95 power, 78 accuracy. So we're definitely going with Gary Anderson. And presumably he's a 91 overall, so he should get an ability. I'm going to give him Zen kicker for a slower meter over 45 yards. We're going to be able to hit from deep now, like really deep. I don't know exactly how deep, but 95 kick power and Zen kicker. I'm hoping at least 56, 57 yard field goals. Oh, uh, we lock in our players thanks to the rage coat, which is amazing and i will take one wheel spin so yes i get it normally since i'm playing another game it should be three but to get a win that quick i also didn't really earn it and so now the only player that we'll be fighting for on this next game is whatever player we add here or players depending on what we get our wheel spin ooh, so it is gonna be player 96 free agents i'll let you guys see that again 96 free agents so so i can take a free agent of my choice free agency dropped some really cool cards but the 96s are interesting jacoby myers paris campbell neither of those are even on my radar draymond jones eh? cameron sutton is kind of on my radar the lions picked him up but he's very short i actually think my best decision here is isaiah win a 96 right tackle he won't be going at right tackle because i do have abraham lucas but he will be going at left tackle. He gets one AP edge protector, which is really nice. He also does get zero AP post up, but I'm not going to be using that on a left tackle. I think edge protector is more important. We'll throw that there. Unfortunately, he does not get the left tackle position, but whatever. We'll throw him in at left tackle. Isaiah win a 92 at left tackle, but that's okay. His stats are incredible. I think he's going to be really, really good anyway. So we'll throw him in right there. Ethan Pochich. I'd love to get him out. A legitimate left guard. And all of a sudden, my offensive line is really, really good. I do have to take one AP off 
off of somebody to fit Isaiah Wynn in here, and I think it's going to be Megatron. I don't think I need deep out of lead on Megatron. I, I really don't throw the ball to him that much anyway. Looking good, boys. A 95 overall. We are three and one, so we're a game closer to the playoffs already. We've got ourselves a kicker. We still need to get a dub right now to keep Isaiah Wynn on the team. Potentially get some upgrades for Clay Matthews. And we still have the challenge wheel. So we're going to use the same challenge wheel from last game, which was a hat trick with one player. Big top three, baby. We got Barry Sanders up there now. He's got Fred. Ooh, he's got Ring of Honor Randy Moss. All right, it's a Ring of Honor battle. This will be fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. It looks Just, like... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wham. Wham. Oh, oh. Oh, cool play. Ooh, big hit. He is chewing clock. Why? Why, man? Why? I hate when you people do this to me. Quick note. I might be being a bitch. I'm on a couple. Okay. Hey, good defense, gentlemen. It's third and 10. I am going to light this QB up and Clay is going to get a stat right here. Are you ready? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Go, Clay. Shit. How did they get such good blocking there? Bob Shit. Shit. No. Nobody. I blitz seven. Didn't get pressure. We also didn't cover downfield. That was all just not good. Every part of that was not good. What is this defense? What is this defense? Well, let's try and run the ball against it. We got Barry Sanders for a reason. Hey, 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 hey. he's going to take an extra couple on the end. Barry over the middle. Too open. Was he open? You're barely open. Oh, great blocks. Oh, all right. Second and 10. You know, I'm going to hit him with the inside zone. I don't even know how that got positive yards, but it got five. All right. Third and five. I see that blitzer there. I could hit Megatron, I think. Yes. Dude, seeing that blitzer is big. That's really, really nice to see. And Megatron just took a big hit from Ronnie Lott. But Megatron's big himself, so he ate it. Now we go PA crossers. Except there's going to be no play action. Yup. Ooh, there's a lot of things I wanted to throw on there. But I'll just take my six yards. It's a solid drive right now. Let's not, let's not get weird. It's not the same, you know, man, coverage every play you're used to. So I respect that. All right, first and 10. That's the first quarter in the books. We got to remember, we're looking for a hat trick with one player. What about Justin Jefferson on this skinny post, though? I think he got him. Oh, he torched him! Holy shit! Hey, all right. We beat man coverage, gentlemen. All right, so Justin Jefferson's with our first touchdown. Maybe I got to keep going back to him. All right, two-point conversion. I'm handing this off to Barry. We're going to punch this in. Cut it back. Hey! Hey, great start. Let's go, gentlemen. Eight to seven. How do we get Clay Matthews some stats, man? How are we going to pull this off? Oh, handoff. Clay! <laughs> the TFL! Holy shit, Clay Matthews. Yeah! Big blitz, and I'm going in there with Clay. Oh, no, I'm going to fake it. I'm going to fake it, and then I'm going to go pick him off with Clay. He's going to be utterly spooked. <laughs> Is he gonna quit? Please quit. I get another clay upgrade if you do. Don't you understand, Jaden? Hey, Marshawn Lattimore. Why is Lattimore good? Lattimore has no business being this good. All right, well. Okay, Barry, you're fucking kidding me. You guys can literally see the moment that Barry Sanders decided he was not gonna block this guy. He thought about it, and then he literally just fucking gave up. I guess he is five foot nine, and Reggie Watt's like six foot six. Come on, man. You could give more than an ounce. Unbelievable. Unbelievably dog shit effort, but Justin Jefferson's gonna pick it all right back up. So I'm gonna motion Justin Jefferson inside here. I don't really expect him to be open. I don't know if Jefferson was open. I think Barry's gonna be open. He is. Ooh, just barely. We gotta get Justin Jefferson in the end zone. This would be really stupid if we didn't. Ooh, he might just have him off jump. his user that's an interception luckily it was not and justin jefferson now has two. Oh, that was such a scary pass look at fred warner right there oh if that's a user i'm in so much trouble two point conversion we can make this oh my god this is huge hey right over the middle <laughs> two possession game let's go okay so as it stands clay matthews has one upgrade and our challenge wheel is almost complete Bruh. that's so not dude he actually might quit oh can we pitch this to clay clay get behind me clay clay Come on, Clay. Shit. 
Oh, I think he's gonna quit. Yes, yes, yes. That's even Yay. better. Except not for my challenge wheel. Hey, two range quits. There's nothing to complain about there. But wow, I fought and I fought for that challenge wheel. Hey, a big W though. We're a step closer to the playoffs. And we got ourselves two upgrades for Clay Matthews. We got one upgrade for the range quit. And we get one upgrade for that big TFL. That's huge. So those two upgrades right there takes Clay Matthews to an 89 overall. Next is 91, then 93, then the ultimate legend. I am gonna open a pack. I know I didn't complete my challenge wheel, but bro, he completely robbed me of being able to. I totally could have completed that. As a middle ground, I'm gonna open one Ring of Honor training pack. These are kind of shit. They're almost always 91s. That's why I feel comfortable opening this. But if we get the 98, 91 Joe Morris. It's always, it's always that. I think more importantly though, we do get a spin on the rage quit wheel right here. Two rage quits, one episode. That's a beautiful day right there. 93 jackpot. So any single player in the game, but they it must be a 93 overall. I'm gonna take myself a left guard. I already kind of know that. All right, 93 jackpot. I'm gonna go with 93 overall Roger Saffold as my left guard. Now we do get a discount on post up. I'm definitely gonna run that since I wanna start running the ball more. All right, gentlemen, things are looking good. Two rage quits on today's episode. Three upgrades for Clay Matthews is massive and one more win to the playoffs. So hopefully at least by the second round of the playoffs, we'll have 98 Clay Matthews. But if I have an awesome next game here, I'll have 98 Clay Matthews for the first round of the playoff so that's the goal all right boys thanks for watching as always i will see you guys in the next wheel of mutt peace out